Okay, here we are. So today we have the um one see a little more. So I'm excited for this one. So here we go. From the moment I opened my eyes that morning, something felt a little funny. Blink, blink, blink. I felt like I was wearing a pirate patch over one eye. One eye, which would have been really cool, but nothing was covering my eye. As if someone had flipped a switch, I suddenly couldn't see out of my right eye. I put my hand over my left eye, and everything was dark. Now, it turns out that even though I wasn't great at school when I was a kid, was a kid, I loved to start schools over the past few past few years i've gotten to travel around the world and work with with uh, some incredible people to open schools for kids on this particular morning i was in in the in Eric Q meeting with some new friends and making plans, plans for other schools. This was a big trip, and I had been visiting a couple of our con contras before heading home. So I figured I, I figured I get ready by with one eye and wait to see a doctor when I got back to San Diego. I finally went to visit my eye doctor. She's one of the best eye doctors in the whole world. When she heard that I'd kept traveling without getting my eye checked, sh she shook her head. Bob, she said, you should have come to me sooner. Thankfully, my doctor was able to do surgery right away. <clears throat> the best part was I thought I was that I got to wear a real eye patch afterward. I had to keep my eye covered with the patch for a few weeks, so I spent that time imagining how great it would be to see again. The moment finally arrived for my doctor to take off the eye patch. But something surprising happened. I opened my, my, I opened my right eye, but I still couldn't see very well. I didn't see completely darkness anymore, but the whole world still looked fuzzy like when you open your eyes underwater. Wait! I, ex I exclaimed in <clears throat> disbelief. Why didn't the surgery work? I thought I'd be able to see again, Bob. My doctor re replied. Pentantly, patiently, every day you'll be able to see a little more. When will I really be able to see again? I ask. Not knowing when my eye would be completely better made me a little un uneasy. A lot of things I love to do, like drawing, driving cars, and flying airplanes require both of my eyes. I didn't want to wait to do those things. I wanted to be better, better right away. Over the next few months, I could continue to visit my eye doctor for re regular checkups. Each time I asked her when I'd be able to see again, and her response was always the same. Every day you'll be able to see a little more. The Bible tells lots of stories about Jesus spending time with people who were sick or couldn't see. One time Jesus was walking with his friends when he met a blind man. Some of the blind man, man's, friends, man's friends had brought him to Jesus and begged Jesus to heal him. 
Jesus spit on the man's eye and put his hand over him and then asked if he could see. I see people, the man said. They look like trees walking around. When Jesus touched him again, the man could see clearly. I can relate a lot to this story, to that story. Now, because I wasn't healed all at one once either, I'm still seeing a little more every day. Other, another time, there was a man who was so sick he couldn't even get out of the bed. So, the sick man's friend picked up his bed and carried him all the way to the house where Jesus was teaching when they got there the friends discovered that the house was packed so full of people that they couldn't get through the door do you think that stopped them no the man's friend decided to make a hole in the roof and lower their friend down when they finished transforming the house into a conveyor, conveyor belt and got their friend in front of Jesus, do you know what Jesus told the man? He didn't say you're healed and heal the man all at once. Instead, he said, friend, you're forgiven. I don't think Jesus was just forgiving the man for the whole for the hole his friends made in the roof. You see, Jesus knew that healing the man's heart way down deep needed to happen before the rest of his body could be healed. It has been really dif difficult for me to be patents. Pat the int as I wait, as I wait for my eye to go back to normal. But you know what? I've, I've noticed that Jesus is healing me on the inside while he's, he, while he's healing me on the outside. Even though my eye isn't seeing, well yet I'm learning to see a little better. In other ways, I'm noticing where I need to be more. Patents, paddock, pad I end, and loving or wh where I need to help others. What I'm learning from Jesus and from my eyes is that Jesus really cares about all of us and wants to heal us inside and our and out, inside and out. So the next time you feel sick or hurt, ask Jesus to heal you on the inside and the outside because he cares about all of you. The next one tomorrow will be Zoo. Oh, that picture is just really gorgeous. It's pretty. It's really pretty. And uh, it looks pretty interesting, um, I think. And so we'll read that one tomorrow. If you definitely enjoyed this, well, if you enjoyed this uh, episode part 11 of Devotion with God, go ahead and give it a big thumbs up. Comment down below what your favorite devotion is so far. And I'll see you in the next video. God bless you and peace out.